Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at the flight path and then specifically to the performance calculations which you can do for landing. To do that, we need to go to the performance tab and then go to the landing and then we need to specify the ICAO code, which is the, I would say, unique uh, identification code for an airport. So in this case, we're we want to, I would say, land on a specific runway, runway 29 of uh, Hato International Airport, which is the airport of uh, Curaçao. And the ACAO code is uh, Tango November Charlie Charlie. And then based on that, we can get the meter information. So if I would press this button now, you will see that both the wind direction, the wind magnitude, the temperature and the QNH are loaded. And those are needed, I would say, as part of the landing, right? So you know that you need to, ent need to enter the uh, wind direction, the magnitude, the temperature, and the QNH, also in the MCDU, which I'm not gonna discuss here, but it's just for your information. So now we know that we need to specify some other data, like the runway altitude, the heading, the condition of the runway, the runway slope, the runway LDA, the approach speed, the weight, and then the configuration of the flaps, right? You can set either to full or to conf uh, configuration three, uh, overweight processing and reverse thrust. So let's start with the runway altitude heading and slope and the LDA and how you can find them. So to find them, you need to switch or you need to search for a chart either using Navigraph right I'm using Navigraph charts but that requires a subscription or you might be lucky and find them somewhere on the internet uh, there are several sites where you can search on right you can search via Google or Bing and then you will probably find them because this is the information that we need right so here we can see the airport elevation and the runway elevation which means that in this case it's 36, so that's the value which we need. In addition to that, we can see the heading of the runway. So, and the runway is in the heading 294. So, we found three pieces of interesting information here. We found the elevation and the direction of the runway. So, let's go back to a flight simulator. Then we can enter those values here. So we can say 36 and the runway heading was 294. So this should be okay. So then we've got the uh, runway slope and runway LDA. So the runway slope, what does it mean? Well. In some cases, the runway starts, for example, at, uh, well, let, let's name a value, what shall we say, 100 feet at the start of runway, and then the other end of the runway is at 90 feet. In that case, the difference between uh, the start and the end of the runway is 10 feet. So the runway slope is to calculate, let's say, the degrees of I would say increase of altitude or decrease of altitude and there's a formula for that uh, you can see the formula now on the screen so you can use the formula to calculate that so what you need to do is you need to have the start of runway minus the uh, end of the runway and that's the, the number that's the feet then you've got the total distance of the runway which in this case is uh, 10,000 feet then you divide the 10,000 or sorry the feet uh, difference so the L2 difference and you divide by the length of the runway you do it times 100 and then, then you will get the value which you need to enter in the runway slope in most cases these values can be found on the charts uh, so you don't have to calculate them manually then we've got the other interesting value and that's the LDA and LDA stands for localizer directional aid and that's a type of approach 
uh, where for some reason the uh, localizer is not completely aligned to the runway which means that so say standing or it's sending the the signal a little bit i would say deviated from that in that case you will uh, need to take that into account where will you find that information again we need to go back to the uh, map in most cases you will find that information in this part of the map right on the bottom part of the map so in this case in uh, Hato International Airport there is no deviation um, so we don't need to enter it here so that's cool right so let's go back to flight simulator in this case we keep those values at zero we keep the approach speed at 90 the weight fine for us actually you need to define of course the weight of the aircraft including passengers uh, we are not we do not want to uh, calculate the overweight and we're not going to use reverse thrust right reverse thrust is that we're gonna use the engines in the opposite direction to reduce the uh, speed of the engine or speed of the aircraft i should say so once you've done that you can click on calculate and if you click on calculate you will see a few interesting things the first thing is that it automatically figures out hey you're gonna use runway 29 then it will show you a few red bars here and those red bars are i would say referring to the uh, braking system right which you can find in the airbus uh, a320 you can find them here right uh, low outer brake medium and maximum outer brake so if we would go back to the calculation sheet if we would set the brakes to the outer brakes to maximum then we will need this distance uh, of the runway if we're gonna set it to medium then we need to have the 3000 uh, meters distance and if we set it to low then we need to have 4500 meters you can see that currently it's not loading the uh meters itself from the runway right so again so if you want to know that you need uh to go back uh, in this case to a uh, tunavi graph and then you will be able to figure out the runway information in most cases not in all cases unfortunately in some scenarios you will need to uh yeah i would say figure out it via another way so in this case right we looked at how to approach uh, runway 29 of a uh, Hato international airport we looked at how to calculate it by using the building calculator of a uh, flight simulator 2020 and then specifically the a32 annex add-on and how you can calculate the approach speed so in this case the approach speed should be uh, 90 if you set it to uh, for example uh, 140 and calculate the distance you see that you need i would say more length of the runway right which makes sense so keep that in mind that you're setting this approach speed and the weight correctly because if i'm not going to change the uh, weight to let's say four just just a number then you will see that i uh, need a different uh, distance right i don't need the distance which i previously had so keep that in mind also the flaps are affecting that so if i'm going to change the flaps it will change it again so keep in mind that if you're making changes you need to recalculate so again calculate using reverse thrust you can see that reverse thrust in this case doesn't make a lot of difference uh, you can press the clear option but it looks like that the clear option doesn't really work nowadays because you can press it 10 times but it doesn't say reset all the values so here ends this how to in this how to we looked at how you can specifically look uh, or use the landing uh, calculator in the performance section of the uh, flight path of the a32 nx I hope you liked this video if you liked it then consider to use the like button if you've got questions or comments then feel free to post them in the comment box below and if you want to stay up to date about new videos i'm posting then consider subscribing to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time